We are at Ballpark Village right across the street from Bush Stadium. This is one of some 20 locations where Purina workers are all around the St. Louis area today taking part in Purina Cares Day. This is basically a work day devoted to community service for Purina workers, some 2,000 of them in the St. Louis area. In this location, we have boxes of people and pet food getting set to be given away here at Bush Stadium, basically along Clark here, right between Ballpark Village and Bush Stadium. People can come down, get people and pet food, and Purina workers are making that all happen, teaming up with the St. Louis area food bank. I want to bring in Kim's Beardsley's. Kim Beardsley, excuse me. She's the director of community affairs for Purina. Kim, thank you very much for being with us. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Kim, talk to me about the effort from Purina. This is an annual event that you guys do. It's something you're really dedicated to in the St. Louis area. That's right. This is our 23rd annual Purina Cares Day. And so we have about 2,000 associates that work here at headquarters. And they're all going to be out in the community working with our nonprofit partners, just doing anything we can to just make St. Louis a better place to live and work for everyone. Absolutely. I've covered this before with you in the past. This is something that's personal to Purina. You have roots in St. Louis. Talk to me about some of the projects that you guys are engaged in today. We have the food giveaway here, but there's more than that in different venues. That's right. So serving the community is really in our DNA at Purina. Uh, William H. Danforth is our founder. We've been here for 130 years and it's really been ingrained in our culture. And so this is our favorite day of the year, really. Uh, we have about 20 different groups that are going to be out working in the community. After this, we're going to be in LaSalle Park planting some trees, doing a roadside cleanup. We'll uh, build bikes for area youth. Uh, we actually even have therapy dogs that are going to be out in local high schools. It's finals week. Kids are stressed out. And so they'll just kind of set the mood for the day and, and hopefully brighten their day a little bit. And so, yeah, we're just trying to get creative with how we can uh, improve the community, improve lives of both people and pets in St. Louis. Sure. As we take a look at some of the food that's out here this morning, kind of give us a rundown of what's going to happen here. This is the first come first serve kind of thing, but people can come down if they need it. Absolutely. And, you know, we've seen a big uptick in food insecurity since the pandemic. And so that's what this is all about. We've been working with the food bank for a few years now. And all you need to do is turn on to Clark from 8th Street, drive through. Our volunteers will load up your car with all kinds of great food for your family, dog and cat food. If you have pets at home or your neighbors have pets, um, it's all about just helping those in need today. Kim, thank you very much. Kim Beardsley with us from Purina with her beautiful dog, Lucy, Lucy, out here this morning. Again, this runs from 9 a.m. until noon. If you're looking to get some of the food, people and pet food here, come on down. Again, it is first come, first serve, and people are lining up early, so just be aware that there is a limited amount of food here. They're going to go first come, first serve. They're going to help as many people as they possibly can. For now, reporting downtown, I'm Chris Vernier.